Yeah, so here in the Bega Valley, we've actually had consecutive bushfires over the last five years or so, starting with the Tathra bushfires in 2018 and then through to the Black Summer fires in 20. And we did learn quite a bit down here about how to deal with bushfires and particularly the post fire cleanup. What we learnt was that there was quite a lot of asbestos contaminated material in the houses. It isn't just typical building waste that you're dealing with out of a fire. In the Tathra fires, the scale of the event was roughly 60 to 70 homes destroyed and a few additional buildings. And in the Black Summer fires, we were talking about over 460 homes destroyed and over a thousand buildings. And a lot of that fire waste being left in community to sort of reinforce what had happened and left trauma in the community that could be avoided. In dealing with bushfire waste or any disaster waste, I think one of the, the key bits is the timeliness in removal of the waste and the, the impact it has on the community the longer that that waste sits in the community. So for us, making sure that we did everything we could to get that material removed quickly was important. I think understanding where you would dispose of material and how you would transport it if certain things happen in certain locations at certain scales is really important and, and recognising that not all, not all fires or not all disasters are equal in their impact. You cannot plan for every scenario and sometimes what you think is the worst case isn't actually the worst case. So being flexible and willing to adapt and recognising that sometimes the best laid plans will still fail is important. The further we get away from a major disaster, the greater the risk that we forget what happened and we can't become complacent in planning ahead and, and not reflecting back on the previous lessons.